Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Mass Capacity Show. I'm one of your hosts, Harv, and with me, Dean. Hello. How's it going, bro? <laughs> Good. <laughs> you don't know what to every, say anymore. Every, every time I ask you, you just you start going off on a fucking... I don't know what to do. <laughs> All right. I start saying, like, I'm bad or... I don't know. Oh, no, you're good. That's good. It's good. It's good to hear. Uh, and also, we have Derek, the roommate. What's up? How's it going? Pretty good, actually. There you go. Good. So now, and rounding out our uh, quad, four, the four of us is the first time podcast, Isha. It's our first time podcasting. Hey! How's it going? Oh, you're already better than all of us. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so honored. I'm the first girl to be on your podcast, aren't I? That is true, too. Took 41 <laughs> shows, but I got one. We got it. <laughs> Diversity. Woo! Okay. So how's your guys' week going? Mm, good. Wow, you are really... <laughs> uh, yeah, good. I don't know. I haven't literally done anything else. It's the same as every week. School? Yeah, school. Projects of people not helping, so I'm doing them all by myself. Good times. Well, that's fun. Oh, yeah. that, 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 that almost sums up university in a way. Yeah. That's, that's most projects. Unless I just had terrible people in my groups. I've decided that to, on the sheet where they say, like, who did what, I'm literally putting they did nothing from now on. Like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I'm just looking for, like, they contributed nothing. Give them a zero. <laughs> Dude, as soon as we go to do, the like, our live presentation, I'm going to signal them out in front of everyone. <laughs> and I'm just oh going to watch God. them bomb. And it's going to be the best thing. You're a dick. Remind me to never do a group project with a dean. Yeah, <laughs> Guy's gonna hijack the entire project. I'm just kidding. I would never do that. I would just, I would just do it all. How about you, Derek? How's your week going? Even though I live with you, so it's like, <laughs> yeah, uh, pretty great. The uh, the airline that lost my baggage like two months ago finally paid me out. So you still, you still... <laughs> what? They lost your baggage and you never got it back? Never got it back. They like fucking dropped it in the ocean or something. I have no idea what happened to it. What? But finally, after like months of me badgering them, they like they gave me a fat check for it. So I'm pretty happy about that. More than so what like, you think was actually in there? Oh, way more. I I told them what was. Well, ooh, this podcast better not go like that. Post Mountain is listening to. Whoa, 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 whoa! It's not name airlines. But come on. At any rate. I may have inflated the price of some of the items by a small amount. Everyone does it, though. And they paid me out the exact amount that I told them, so that's pretty fucking awesome. That's anyway, cool. let's move on before I, you know, get charged with fraud or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> you already cast a check, you're good to go. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, once you cast a check, you're safe, man. There's no step. Yeah. I don't know what I was going to say there. I you you can cash it over your phone it. now. You can deposit it over your phone now. I don't know if people can actually do that though. I don't. I, I, their app doesn't let you do that. Oh, they don't. No, they're they're still back. Oh, they're behind time. Yeah, they're still. Although still. their 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 machines are like super advanced now. Like you just put the check in itself with like no envelope, and it just goes in. It scans itself. Oh yeah, yeah. TDs. That's like that that's too. old school though. That's what? old that's school. Not old school. Yeah. That's new. <laughs> That's no, totally new. the new thing is you just take a picture of your check and you can deposit it over your phone. Yeah, but like this is like we're like in buttfuck nowhere, Canada. Like maybe you have that, like you 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 had those things in other places for a long time, but like this is new here. Like we that was like a few months ago. We had like the old bullshit machine. I always think that BMO o is behind every bank. Maybe that's, that's true because the they BMO's do. the only bank I go to, so maybe the other banks are uh, like. Dude, the, the, TD, TD. the TD just got like the machines where you can put the cash in without an envelope and your, uh, your yeah, check. like but like just now, right? Like, like last like two months, months or something. Yeah, yeah. No, it's been over. It's it's been like at least a year. Oh no, so I, blew no. my mind. Yes, man. definitely. Not here. It's not here. No way. Okay, well, at least in downtown. I don't know where you guys are depositing your check. Metro I, town? <laughs> How is that like? Uh, <laughs> I actually think it's BMO just being behind everybody. Probably. Yeah. Because like, if you go to TD, you go to CIBC and everything. They still have all that stuff where you can deposit checks uh, with your camera or like all that kind of thing. All those kind of things. There's a Trace limit to wire transferring money a month. Hey, I didn't know that. There's a limit? It, with the TD, there is. It's like three grand or something and you can't wire any more money that, that month. Hmm. Yeah, then you're up to shady shit. 
I guess. I don't know. It's just between like me and Carrie in the summer, and it like maxed out at, like three grand. Oh wow! In one transaction or just for the year? Mm. Three grand in a year is not very no, much. No, no, no. It's yeah. just, I think it was just for the month, man. I don't know if maybe. What's a month well, thing? Usually, if it's if it's ten grand, if you're depositing ten grand, they have the right to ask you where the money's coming from. Oh. Like, yeah. So I think the the limit is ten grand, but I don't know. And you like work in this field, so I, I trust you. I don't work in banking, but I do work in yeah finance. In finance, so, so yes, but yeah. Uh, you work in Pardon me. You work in finance. I do. Can you find a way to make me some money? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get just like get up to like some anti or some money laundering business. I'm not yeah. gonna ask questions. <laughs> He's like, um, I've got a Q and A for you after this. Yeah, <laughs> oh, don't worry. I've I've seen like fat checks, like well, in other people's hands. I usually don't have them in my hands, but like the last one I saw was like six hundred fifty six fifty six hundred fifty thousand, and someone was going around looking for how to basically because the account had a restriction on it. And he was like, "Yeah, we want to deposit this check," and I was like, "Hey, why don't you just deposit it into my account? Like, I'll take it." But yeah, that, that probably. That's probably. Where do you get a six hundred thousand dollar check from? Um, these are well. This is like an investment firm, right? So uh, people have like shares and hmm. and like bonds and things like that. Um, so yeah, basically they if they're transferring money from their old account to their new account or like from an old firm to our firm, that's how they move all their money over. They can do it in cash or kind. So yeah, they get they deal with like big checks. Usually. So this like big check was like lost, like something they didn't know what to do with it or something. No, no, no. there was there was, a res- there was a restriction Wait, on the account because they didn't meet like because like so I deal with the documentation and there was a restriction on the account because they didn't provide something. So he was going around saying that or asking if you know basically we can waive that restriction because he needs to like do something with this check. Uh. So so yeah, I don't know what the result was, but I think they let it they let it go because that's obviously a pretty decent client but i don't know i don't know all right perfect we got isha into the conversation let's start the fucking show (laughs) (laughs) all right all right you're gonna go first all right my my topic is um knowing what you know now about like life in general if you could turn back the clock and start again what profession or goal would you set for yourself what profession or goal so it doesn't have to be a professional goal <laughs> well i was thinking profession to start with but if you, that's not something you want to answer then you could say like big goal like uh like be a hockey player or something yeah i, I guess sure okay i still don't know what i want to yeah. be so i can't answer that <laughs> <laughs> no. you're still in the process of finding out process. uh <laughs> i think i would have told my younger self more about like um like health and fitness like when i was in high school i never like thought of like going to the weight room in the gym I'm like you're stupid man i want to hang with my friend but i wish i had started like younger that's uh a professional well i guess prof- uh, well, that's wise. a personal goal yeah, yeah. Personal yeah, goal, yeah. yeah. that makes sense that's good, that's good. Yeah. it's Pro. a lifestyle thing right <laughs> whoa you want to fight my topic bro so <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I, like, I was thinking about this today. I don't know what I would go with if I wasn't in this. Well, you have a pretty sweet job, so if you don't want to change <laughs> it, that's fine. Like, I like what I do. It's fun. It's frustrating at times, but it's fun. So then how about a personal thing instead? For a personal thing, I think it would be more towards, like, traveling a bit more before I got to this age. Yeah. Like, I'm 27 now, and I haven't really traveled very much. And, like, overseas-wise. Like, I've been to Europe once, but that was for, like, three days. But I went to wish I could go there for, like, mo- like a month. Yeah. Just go and travel all over Europe. Go see, go to Asia and stuff like that. It, it gets harder and harder as the older you get, I think. Yeah. And when right? you get kids and stuff, that's just... Yeah, yeah, you're fucked after that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think well. It's so live, man. Knock on the door. <laughs> with some bags, get in your car, peel out, get to the airport. You're set. They can't turn them away. <laughs> no, yeah, I think I would go with traveling for personal goals. For, for professional, I think I would do the same. I was thinking of going into like game design, but I'm not a good designer whatsoever. 
Like, I can't. I don't have the imagination to design stuff. At what age did you decide what you wanted to do? I wanted to do it when I got when I was a grade nine. Holy shit! That's I want. I knew I was gonna go into computers. I was gonna get a computer science degree. That's like, such a big advantage, like to know early, because like, man, like he didn't waste any time doing bullshit other stuff. You know, yeah, like, just dude, I wasted eight years of high school just doing bullshit. Yeah. Like it's I, sad. It's uh, sad at this point. <laughs> I was brought up. I was brought up with. You're the best. <laughs> I was brought up with the computer. So, because my brother was in this field, right? He's yeah, going yeah. this field, so I got a lot, a lot of influence from him. Were you just like, oh, I want to be like my big brother? I think a little yeah. bit of it was that. Mm. I think it was a little bit, but I, I looked up to him, right? So, like, I wanted to be kind of like him. Mm. That's how, how many years are you guys apart? Six. Six, not bad. Yeah, he's okay. 82, so yeah. Uh, yeah, six years. 82? <laughs> yeah, 19, I, I, oh, 1982. Like, what the fuck? That would make the 80. 76. <laughs> wow! <laughs> yeah, holy oh. <laughs> There's math right there for you. How about you, Derek? Um, if I could, like, go back in time and, like, be, like, 12 again and start from there, I think I would, like work towards being an astronaut. I think that's like the fucking mm. pinnacle of mankind. And if I could do that, that would be fucking amazing. One of the astronauts oh, oh. Just got, got back from uh, the ISS. He, he grew two inches. Yeah, he grew two inches. Two in inches. Up. Yeah, you could get taller. That's, even so, that's, that's like <laughs> awesome reason number two. You get taller. What the? There yes. are no negatives in this. I definitely do. <laughs> I think it would be like so exciting. Yeah. And, like, if you're going to die doing that, like, die doing, like, a crazy job, that would be the job. Like, you're in, like, a fucking spaceship, and it, like, flies up into space, and it blows up or something. Everyone's like, fuck, that guy's a hero. Like, you're, you're, you're in an advantage, too, because if, like, a world war starts, you're totally away from it, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're, you're, you're that, like, you're just like, well, you guys are fucked. <laughs> you're just, you just watching the carnage from up there. watching all the nukes blow up. You're good, man. No, that guy has a really cool uh, Instagram that he, when he was up in space. Like, he, every day he posted two pictures. That was okay. the guy who like was growing food up there too, right? Uh, he grew a flower up oh, there. A flower. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. How about you, Isha? Um, I don't know. Like, I've had a pretty good, pretty good run. I think in terms of like the diverse things that I have done, um, especially after high school. Uh, but if I guess like a smaller thing, it's it's on a very small scale. I wish I had taken French in high school. Huh. That's actually, I, I wish. You know, that's yeah. actually like uh, I was talking to someone the other day, and I said I wish I had tried harder in French because I was yeah. like t- trying to talk, and I know like nothing. Exactly, yeah. and like language teachers hated me. Like I, I took French in grade eight, and then as soon as I didn't have to take French. I switched to Spanish, but they still hated me. And like, I picked up Why Spanish. Why did they hate you? What the fuck? <laughs> because I hated, I hated just like. Because you hated them. Um... Well, no, no, no. I just hated like going to class, and I would just dick around in class, and I wouldn't pay attention. And you know, I used to talk a lot in school. I know, hard to believe, but um, yeah. And so I don't. They just they never liked me. And like, I remember in grade eight, our French teacher's name was Miss Dumay. And we used to call her Miss Dumbass. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> just like, and like, kind of to her face occasionally. So, so yeah, like, uh, I just, I really do wish, uh, in, not instead of Spanish, I just feel like in this country, obviously, French is more beneficial. But um, it is something I still want to go back and do and take, take language Do you think classes. that um, if you could go back and do it all again, that, that you would take like French immersion, like go that far? Oh my god, no. No? I don't, no. I don't think I'd want to learn, like, school in French. It's already hard enough in English. Like, <laughs> so, yeah, we, I don't we know. You had to go to French to, like, grade 10, right? That was our yeah. pirate, grade 11 like, or something like that? 10, you, you had to, like, pass 8, 9, 10 or something like that. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't mandatory, though. Like for, guys... us, for us, it was, for 8, yeah, 9, 10. for us, it was. But, it was. but it's BC curriculum. It should be the same, I think. Wasn't it? Or maybe, well, you guys did graduate before I did, you so know I don't what? know. Maybe it was just 8 that was mandatory. 
It was, and yeah, then you still right. had to you still had to take a language, but you just got to pick which yeah. language you wanted to take. I, I, it was probably that because like the only language you could take in DP taught yeah, it was French. French. Yeah, so you're for you're a pigeonhole. So one. yeah, okay. So it, it wasn't it wasn't the French nine and ten that was necessary. It was a language nine and ten, and that's all we had. That makes sense. Yeah. So so wait, you guys didn't have another language, but yet one of your teachers out there like teaches a class on Lord of the Rings, like. What? Wait, what? <laughs> was it? Wasn't that a thing? Like in high school? No, I remember Teelman. Was it Teelman? Yeah, he Teelman used to uh, teach a Lord of the Rings class in high no, school. No, but recently someone didn't. <laughs> yeah. How no, did it? That? Someone recently that? came up with a course. Yeah, there's, how yeah, there's to talk like Golem. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's yeah, there was a class in one of the universities that's like that too. Well, university, I yeah, I get that. There's, for sure, yeah. But, but I, I do, I do remember like, Thielman having a class on Middle Earth. Like he had like one class, or like yeah, an Middle entire Earth. Semester. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was, it, it was for a semester. But like, it's supposed to be like it's you're supposed to take like the stuff that happens in that world, that kind of put it to real life, and see like how it compares, like how it is similar. Like what the author dragons, is trying to. No dragons. <laughs> elves, no elves. It's two out of two, right? There. Yeah, ace of the test, bro. <laughs> A ring that makes you powerful. Oh. What's that? No rings that make you powerful. You know what? <laughs> At our age, when you get a ring, it makes you weak because it entitles someone to half your shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Lord of the Rings world way better, man. The rings are actually useful. <laughs> Buddy. Uh, you'll be getting that ring soon. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> he just scoffs it off. I probably should. It's been eight years. God, I feel bad for her. Does, does your girlfriend listen to this? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> well, she should listen to yeah, it now. She probably shouldn't. <laughs> she knows. I, I keep telling her, like, the more she asks, every time she asks, I'm adding a year. She just doesn't bring it up anymore. <laughs> yeah, she knows now. She knows. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. But, but like, okay, so I don't get it. Like, when, when people, are, when two people are happy, why does the ring make a huge difference? Like, you've already been with her for eight years. Like, it why? Make, it does make a difference. I keep telling her to just go to the courthouse, but she doesn't want to. Well, yeah. Oh, well, I guess, like, if she's dreamt of that day and, like, you know, whatever, she wants to have a big celebration, then I that makes sense. I could care less. But, yeah, and it's a lot of money. That you could be yeah, using that, for other the, things. It's, it's the, yeah, it's the money. Dude, plus that's the, the money. Single. I hate I hate half her side of her family. Like they're just annoying. <laughs> <laughs> so like I told her if we're gonna do it, we're gonna go like a destination wedding because they won't come. That's yes, that's you just like elope, just yeah, vanish. No. I I tried, but she didn't want to. Yeah. I tried. <laughs> Make it hard on me. Hard on me. You know what? I, I'll do something when I feel like less of a failure in life, which is. <laughs> I'm not there yet. The I'm most self-deprecating close. person. Uh, two more years. When... I'll, two more years will be done in school. Then I'll. I'll feel. What kind of me. person is Dean gonna be when he's like successful? Like, like this has become his like who he is. <laughs> <laughs> the self-deprecation <laughs> shit, man. Oh. Like, I, I don't know what any other Dean. <laughs> this, this is the Dean that I know. I can't give you a raise, but you can have some of my salary, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's, here's my debit card just use it yeah here's my visa man it's got a ten thousand dollar limit have fun <laughs> all right dean 